It's something we all struggle with, whether we try to or not. There are lots of ways to aid us in being lazy. So Reek Jones presents to you How I Stay Productive, Day in the Life. Hey Siri, start talking for two minutes. Making sure you have a strong routine in the morning is a great way to make sure your day is on point. Just do different things that set you up for success. What's good with y'all boys, man? Y'all see we starting out the morning, right? We got a lot planned today, pretty busy day. One thing we have today is we got some client work today. So a lot of y'all be asking me, yo Tariq, what do you do outside of YouTube to make money? And y'all see my videos is high quality. That's what I do, man. I go around and I film, I do photography, I do a bunch of different things. So I'm about to get ready for that, then I'm gonna work out after. But before I do that, I'm also gonna answer another question. Y'all be asking me what camera gear I use. So I'm gonna show y'all everything I do to make my type of videos. These are the Rogue Go Wireless 2. These are great for doing mic'd up workouts and getting great audio when there's a lot of stuff around you. So I highly recommend these right here. These are one of the lenses I use to make sure I get a nice blurry background smooth lens gets the job done when i need it and this is my little mic nothing too crazy when it comes to having a mic on my camera y'all see we got the wind filter on it that's it and this is my baby right here the canon r8 paired up with the tamron 24 to 70 crazy combo man that's how i get these crazy looking videos for behind the scenes i like to use this gopro 360 max it's a cool little camera that does a lot of creative things and this right here i like to call her drea <laughs> nah, this is my drone though. This is what I do just to get shots in the air when I want to get building shots or city shots. Just anything I want to do to be creative, I'm whipping this drone out right here and going crazy. But what I would say is that you do not need all this stuff, man. It helps to have gear and different things like that. Like when I first started, I just had the camera. I didn't even have like a lens for it. I just had the camera and the lens that came with it. And I just work with what I have, man. And so right now I'm about to go change eat some food before we hit this booking real quick man and then yeah man we're gonna be on we're gonna get this money on so go on. stop playing with a ring say this but if your girl is not cooking for you she don't love you man shout out for my girl for cooking me some black rice with some fish on the side but while i'm eating i'm learning from the go himself ali abdal on how to manage my time and be more productive but now it's time to pack up and hit the road and get to this money on Look, if there's anything to learn from this part of the video, is to learn new skills. These are all skills I learned in my junior year of college. And honestly, I didn't know where I was going with basketball. I didn't know what I was gonna end up doing after basketball. And I really never even thought about what I wanted to do after basketball. But luckily I stumbled across a camera. 
I learned how to do it and I found a way to monetize it and make a living off of it. So for all y'all who are in school or don't know where to go, I would say just learn a skill that you like and apply it. Y'all see, I learned the camera and now I'm doing YouTube and I'm able to make good quality videos. So learn them skills, man. We just finished up, about to get this quick drone shot real quick. I'm gonna show you how I get these drone shots and all types of crazy stuff, man. Smooth booking, interview style type work. I told y'all boys, man, learn these skills, man. Learn these skills. But let's get this drone work in, man. Hey, y'all, I'm about to fly this drone. It's actually pretty great, so I'm gonna do this real fast, man. Let's get it. Now, we about to head to the weight room. We about to go put this pain in, man. I already know how it go, man. We go make money, and then we go get some money, you know what I mean? Getting money has been putting in pain. So, we about to get this workout in, man. Let's go. Today is basically considered my recovery day, but I still like to go to the gym and just put in a little bit of work, get the blood flowing a little bit. All right, right now we about to hit the Stairmaster. Some cardio in, man. Shout out to Steph is cold, man. Steph is cold, be on that Stairmaster for like 30 minutes. Before I do any workout, I make sure I get a good stretch in. I know y'all saw we stretch in the morning, but even before my workout, I want to make sure I'm nice and loose so I don't hurt myself. Then we marching up them stairs. I did the Stairmaster for 30 minutes between levels 10 through 12. Just putting in that pain, getting my legs right. Stairmaster. Stairmaster got me feeling tired, man, but today's kind of my off day when it comes to lifting. But when I have off days, I still put work in. I do like a little bit of work, whether it's like push ups in the morning, cardio. I'm just not lifting heavy today or going on like no run. So I just decided to do Stairmaster. And now we about to go hit the court and get some work in, man. Get some work in. So let's get it. What you gotta say to the vlog, bro? Hey, man. If you ain't tapped in with Reek Jones, you're wildin'. Yes, sir. That's it. Shut yourself That's up, it. man. Tell him to add. Tell him to add. All right, I bet. I bet. S Duke 03. Straight like that. Straight S Duke like that. 03. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with your boy Reek Jones. He gonna help you elevate your life <laughs> and take you to greatness. Yes, sir. That's all I gotta say. I'm not even gonna spill the sauce. Nothing, bro. All right, I see. That's it. That's, That's it, it, man. We going. That's it. All right, y'all. Right now, we're here in the gym. You about to get some downhill work. Work on some finishing, some moves on the go, transition, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get started. Whenever I do finishing, I like to do a mic and drill. Man, what? Come on, man. I like to do a little mic and drill, work on my English real quick. That's how you begin that jelly, laying it off the backboard, that Kyrie Irving work. So I'll just do 10 each side, and after I'll switch over to here. I'll do like a reverse type mic in, 10 each side, just working on different type of creative layups, man. I bet you guys if you do this, you will not miss layups no more. So get that mic in and work on the fundamentals, man. All right, so right here, I'm just gonna pick one move I wanna work on for the day, and I'm just gonna spam it with the same foot, same hand lay. The reason I do this is because I really just want to work on a simple move and master it and rep it out. This is about the move I like to do when somebody's guarding me, just wrap around, excuse me, Jamal Crawford style. And then we're going to switch sides with it, go to the other side. It's harder with the left hand because I'm a righty, so it's going to be difficult. But trust me, if you can get this layup down, a lot of times in traffic, people try to glass so you can just lay them real quick. And after every drill, I finish with two free throws and a dunk. The reason I do a dunk is because I recently hurt my knee and I'm trying to get back. So, you know, we got to hey. <laughs> but now we on the go, working on that downhill work. Just one move and go, man. You know, putting stuff together, being creative with your moves. I try not to do the same move a bunch of times. I try to just switch it up, even with my layups, not finishing on the same side or just being creative with my lay. 
You see we going off two, we going off one, up and under, all that stuff. Excuse me, hey, let me lay you real quick. <laughs> gotcha. Cross. Hey, same foot, same leg. We just worked on that. And then y'all know we got to get a dunk, so hey. Hey, we, we back, man. We back, man. <laughs> But now it's the same thing, just in the corner, just working on different moves, hop step, adding that to the bag, up and under, just a bunch of different things. The thing with finishing is you always want to be unpredictable. I like watching Kyrie because Kyrie be doing some of the craziest stuff, man, but you don't know what side he's going to finish on or what he's going to do. And a lot of times in college, one of my strengths was finishing. So this is what I used to do all the time, just a rip through work on different floaters and different things like that. Then we go hit the other side. Y'all know we got to. And here, it's the same thing as the other side. You always make sure you work both sides, getting right with it, working on what we just worked on and being creative. Right here, I felt a little bit bouncy. Knees is feeling right, I told y'all guys. So I said, let me get another one real quick, hey. I know how it get, man, but look, just create it up and under real quick. And then right here, we just gonna jab. Then I'm just gonna finish the workout, just getting some free throws in. Cause you gotta make sure you make free throws, man. Free throws is free. So we got some free throws in, man. And that's it for the workout. Quick 45 minutes. Let's finish this workout. I forgot to show y'all shoes in there. We got the Giannis's. I don't know what this colorway is called, but they're pretty smooth. I had these since they came out. They're pretty smooth. They're comfortable. I love these shoes, but tough colorway, man. It's a good workout, just finishing. We didn't do nothing too crazy. We went on the Stairmaster for 30 minutes. Then we came here. Y'all see him getting my bounce back, man. Don't let me windmill. I'm t if I windmill, that's how I know it's over. So, I'm steadily improving, man. Feels good to have my knees back. Sometimes you just gotta rest a little bit. I took, I took some time off of basketball. Now my knees feel way better. So it's only up from here, man. Only up from here. We just gotta keep working towards it, man. So let's get on out of here, man. I used to go here last year. Oh yeah. I graduated though. I just stuck in. Oh, you're in high school? Yeah. How'd you sneak in? You just walked in the door? The girl, somebody left the door. And I was like, this guy caught outside. I'm gonna walk in. Walk get in. your work in, bro. Yeah. <laughs> get your work in, bro. Be safe, man. I'll see you. Thank you for, uh, thank you for earlier. I'm actually gonna go to Best Buy because I'm really looking for a GoPro stick. And I gotta get a pair of AirPods because I recently lost mine. This is like my third pair of AirPods, man. I'm about to hit Best Buy right now, see what them boys got. Package secured. Shout out Best Buy for always having what I need, man. This is like my third pair of AirPods, bro. I don't know if y'all saw earlier when we were working out, we had zero music, man. We was listening to SZA while we was working out, bro. I'm not doing that again. Nice and clean, no air wax. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just got a text, man, and we're going to the PC game tonight. They play the number one team in the country, which is UConn. They're either number one or number two. I'm not really sure, but either way, Number one, number two, doesn't really matter. I'm excited. We got good seats, so it should be it should be fun to go. You know, sometimes you know you gotta take a break and you gotta have fun. You can't just be on hustle mode all day long. So, so I got UConn money line tonight, man. I got UConn money line tonight.
look, y'all know we big on hygiene, so I always make sure every week I do a full cleaning of my bathroom. Hey man, y'all gotta get that elbow grease, man. Look, if you a dude and you're not cleaning your bathroom, making sure your toilet not dirty, making sure your sink not dirty, your tub, it reflects, man. You got a girl that comes to your crib and she see that your bathroom dirty, she not gonna wanna rock with you, man. So, y'all see, man. Y'all know I'm about my hygiene, I'm about staying clean, I'm about staying right. So, y'all see this the work we gotta put in. We gotta clean this tub up, man. Gotta clean this tub up, gotta clean the sink up. Gotta clean the toilet, man. We gotta do all that stuff. I'm on my knees right now doing it, so. If I'm on my knees doing it, you gotta do it, man. Clean your bathroom, clean your room, clean your space. Come on, man. If you know, you know. But growing up in the Haitian family, my mom didn't play that with me. She always made sure I had to clean my room, making sure I had to wash all the dishes and do a bunch of work I did not want to do. But I can gladly say it paid off, man, because I'm someone who generally focuses on being clean, and keep my hygiene on point. So, if your mom was making you do all that stuff, it's for a reason, man. Thank her. All right, y'all, we just got out of the shower. Y'all know we feeling good, we feeling clean. I just want to talk to you guys about different things when it comes to being productive and having a productive type lifestyle, I guess you could say. So what being productive means to me is basically just getting what you need to get to done at an efficient rate. You could be unproductive, but you did a thousand things today. You can do a thousand things that literally did nothing. Or you can do one big thing that's gonna take you the furthest way. So when it comes to being productive, I look at what is the biggest task that I need to get done to help better me in my life. So that's what I look at when it comes to being productive. So when I'm doing certain things and I'm being productive, it's because I'm doing things to better myself, my situation, and my life. If it doesn't apply to that, then to me, it's being unproductive. So some different techniques I use to be productive is I keep a to-do list with me, and keeping a to-do list allows me to keep track of what I need to get done, because I'm gonna be real, sometimes I be forgetting. When you have it on paper right there, like, yo, I need to get X, Y, Z done today, then you're more likely to finish it. Studies prove when you write it down and you have a list right in front of your face of what you need to get done. You're more than likely to finish off that list. So I like to write down the night before all my tasks that I need to get done, any projects I need to work on, whatever it is, I'm writing it down on here. And if I don't finish it, I just add it to the next day. Sometimes I'll do a daily one, I'll do a weekly one, and just write down everything that I need to get done and focus on getting that stuff done. If you don't got like a notebook, you also do it on your phone. So when I'm on the go, I have one on my phone. I'm gonna show you right here how I use it. So I just have it, any task I have, I have it right there and once I'm done, press that button, it's done. So it's just a simple way to keep track of your tasks, simple way to make sure that you're getting your stuff done. Because before I was doing this, a lot of times, I feel like I did a lot, but I actually did nothing. And I don't wanna do that, so I wanna make sure I'm on top of my tasks, on top of my priorities. Another thing I do is I plan ahead. I guess that kinda goes into having a to-do list, but I plan all my stuff ahead. So if I know I gotta shoot the next day, my stuff is gonna be prepared. All my stuff is gonna be charged. Even with my clothes, and one of my, I think my night routine video, I showed y'all that I lay out my clothes for the next day. So I'm not wasting time. So I'm not just looking through what if I'm running late. So I make sure I plan ahead. Another way to be productive is getting rid of distractions. What I like to do is I have a certain mode on my phone where it's do not disturb and you cannot call me. I know people call you twice in the pic, but no, no calling. I'll put this on, man, when I need to lock into a project, when I create these vlogs and I really need to lock in and be creative, I'm putting on do not disturb because I don't want my phone ringing. And then I look on Instagram and I see one thing and then after I see the next thing and then next thing you know you scrolled for an hour and now you tired and you got nothing done you got to make sure you're getting rid of all distractions and distractions don't just got to be your phone even the environment you're in can be distracting you could be working on your laptop on the couch doing homework but if you got a bunch of kids running around you got the TV playing you know I try to do I try to edit one time while there was a Celtics game on 
It didn't go good because I'm watching the game. Okay, Jason Tatum stepped back. Oh, that's crazy. But I was getting distracted because there was something of interest that I liked. So I may always make sure whenever I need to focus on a task that my environment's good. Y'all see we got the we got the lights in here, the purple lights. I'll get some tea. I'll even put on some music. You know what I mean? Even making it fun, put on some music. So um, you know, I like to listen to Afrobeats. So I'll I'll just put on some Afrobeats and vibe, get my work done, do my client work, do what I need to do. You gotta make sure that you're in a good environment when it comes to being productive. You also have to change your mindset. One thing I changed in my life is whenever I had a task, I used to always say, oh, I have to work out today. Like, oh, I have to do my homework. Oh, I have to do this. What you're really doing when you're saying that is you're making it seem like it's a chore, like it's an inconvenience to you when it's something that's actually helping you improve. Like, you don't have to, you get to. I get to go to the gym. You know how many people don't got legs, don't got arms who are still showing up to the gym, pulling their work? People who are on their deathbed wishing they can get one more workout in. So the way I look at it is, I look at, I change my mindset from the way I speak. If I have to do a task, I say, yo, I get to work out today. I get to clean my bathroom today. You, you're associating negative emotions with that. And then what your mind, what you're telling your mind is like, yo, I really don't want to do this. So you're just going to make it worse. And you're just going to make sure that you really don't want to do it. You got to change your mindset when it comes to doing these tasks. If something is challenging, Embrace the challenge and know that it's gonna get you better. Don't look at it as a bad way. Don't look at it as, oh man, we have to run. Like, nah, we about to run. Let's get this running and let's get better. You can't look at it in a bad way. You gotta change your mindset in the way that you talk about things. Um, another technique I would do is a snowball effect. You could do this two different type of ways, but the snowball effect is basically doing the hardest tasks first and then going to the smallest task. So y'all saw the beginning of the day. You know, I woke up, do my face routine, do everything, and I take a cold shower. Because me, I'm someone I don't like the cold. I do not like the cold. So if I do something challenging to start my day, there's, there's nothing throughout the day that's gonna be hard when I'm taking the cold shower. Like, I'm gonna be real. Like, and I'm blessed to say that because I know some people are unfortunate that they don't have access to hot water and whatnot. So I'm not trying to like, be disrespectful or talk down on anybody, not, nothing like that. I'm just saying that I'm blessed that being the cold shower is the most challenging thing for me. So I'm someone who don't like the cold, so I take a cold shower, man. I try to do the hardest tasks first. And for me, by the end of the night, I got my easy little tasks I can get that I can knock off. Or you could do this the opposite way. You can do a small task first and gradually build up. You can gain that momentum. So those are just like a couple little techniques you can do. But the biggest thing about being productive it's just making sure that you're setting your future self up for success. So a, qu a question I always ask myself is, will your future self either regret or be proud of the work that you did today? So that's the question you gotta ask yourself, man. If you being lazy, you just on the game all day, you ain't doing nothing, your future self, your future self looking at you like, hey bro, what's up, like, what you doing? He's waiting on you, it's like a tag team, man. You ever see a tag team when they're running? He, he can't go unless he get the stick, but you gotta dip. You gotta, you gotta put in work for him so he can go. That's, just, that's what it's like for your future self. So you gotta really ask yourself, are you, what you're doing today, the things that you're doing, are you setting your future self up for success? Or are you feeling your future self, man? Another thing I'll say about being productive is that you really don't gotta force it and go crazy. Like I used to, I used to do that, man. I used to like try and bang out a project in like one hour and try and do all types of crazy stuff. And what I was really doing was I was make burning myself out and hurting myself in the long run. Like it's okay to take little breaks in between and take rest. Like one thing I do, I do a 90 minute sprint where I just lock in on work for an hour, 30 minutes and I take a 30 minute break. I may go take a walk. I may go read a book. I might do something because I need a rest. Eventually my brain gonna explode, bro. So sometimes it's good to take rest. It's good to go take a nap if you're tired. Get that, get that fuel up, you know? You know, refuel yourself, get get right. Sometimes you may need a rest, take a nap, do something. So don't think you gotta be a superhero and gotta knock everything out. It's okay to take breaks, it's okay to pace yourself and do something. Only you really know at the time that you need to get a task done. You just gotta manage your time correctly. So don't think you gotta be a superman or you gotta knock everything out one day. I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Like yeah, you gotta hustle, you gotta put the work in, but don't kill yourself doing it. That's not right, man. You're not, you're not supposed to do all that, so just pace yourself doing it. Like I told y'all, y'all can follow these techniques, or if y'all have any different techniques, y'all drop them down, because I'm always looking for better ways to become more productive in what I'm doing and make my life more easier. I think that's what productivity is, just making your life more easier, man. Just 
doing what you gotta do, getting your tasks done, just making sure you're right. So hopefully this was able to help y'all, man. Y'all know Rico is coming out with the tips, man, but let's head out to this PC game, man. Let's see what UConn got. I'm excited to see what they finna do, so we gone. It's always good to go watch some high-level basketball, man. I've been going to PC games for years, but hey, man, they playing UConn, number one team in the country, so we're going to see what them boys got, man. But to start the game, them boys was on fire. They were smacking UConn, man. You see, the boy got the bucket. But at halftime, though, quick, almost 20 piece. Damn, it's not looking too good for them boys. So they ended up getting smacked, ended up leaving the game, and that's it. Hopefully this was able to help you guys become more productive, become better at your life, make your life easier, and get your work done. I believe being productive is a key to living a successful life, and that's why I always focus on being productive myself. Y'all know how it go. It's your boy Reek. I don't got to say too much. We gone.